Next topic, depth chart. We're going to do the defense this week, Chris. Uh, let's go ahead and let's start with the defensive line first. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that. And um, I'm going to say, I think let's let's take the defensive end. It's JT Tumulau, Jack Sawyer. And I know I can't say JT last name proper anyways. Tumulau. Culture swine. JTT. I know his parents don't like that. He doesn't like that. But even Ryan Day called him JTT. Um then defensive tackles, I'm going with Mike Hole Jr. and Tyleek Williams, but I've heard people put Ty Hamilton there instead yes. of Tyleek, but I'm going with JTT, Jack Sawyer, Mike Hall, Tyleek Williams starting. Who do you got? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I actually have those same four starters. Uh, you know, I think the argument has been made that maybe uh, Ty Hamilton play more of that nose tackle position, uh, and, and you have Tyleek. And, and Mike Hall almost switching back and forth uh, to reduce the number of snaps that each is taking. But I think both those guys are just too daggone explosive to not have them on the field at one time. And so then the second teamers would be Caden Curry and Kenyatta Jackson at mm -hmm. defensive end, Ty Hamilton or Tyleek Williams, if you flip flop them uh, at defensive tackle, along with Jaden McKenzie. McKenzie. At, at defensive tackle as well. So that's my two deep. What you got, Chris? Same? Same ones, man. Beautiful. That's a beautiful thing when we agree. Why don't you do linebackers then? All right. Well, for me, I mean, obviously you got uh, Steel Chambers and Tommy Two Thumbs back in there. No. The, uh, the linebackers starting. You, you think that's a pretty safe bet, Eric? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like, uh, you know, Cody Simon backing up Tommy Two Thumbs and uh, CJ Hicks probably backing up Steel. What it, who do you have at the um let's see because we we got the 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 will and the Sam and then what's the other linebacker position the third one when Mike. we actually play the Mike yeah um who do you got Cody Simon you slide him in there as the third when we when we go up against the team with the running or do you go with CJ well I'll tell you I like the experience of Cody Simon. But I think the youngster may just be too good to keep off the field. Hmm. Um, gut instinct tells me that Ryan Day would, would would play Cody Simon first, or Jim Knowles would play Cody Simon first. Um, at least get the first opportunity. But if it's not working well, I think he's got a very short string. Mm -hmm. What about? What about the stand-up defensive end slash linebacker, uh, the jack position? Uh, did you put anybody in there? I really did because I think we're going to see more, so much more of the traditional. Uh, uh, I, w I, I would say keep your eye on when we do go to this and we do play that, Mitchell Melton. Mitchell Melton, yeah. Jim Knowles, has he just gushes over him. Uh, in that position. Of course, well, he's just he, a player he, too, Eric. I mean, he, he's a player. When he's healthy, he's just, he's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, the, the, I agree with you completely. Now let's go to, let's go to cornerback. Cause I think this is interesting here. I, I've got Denzel Burke and Davison Igbenosan as the starters, but I can be convinced of someone else. So who you got? Boy, that's who I've got in there as well, Eric. Okay. But uh, you, you know, they're. Do you think? Already, do you think? Lorenzo Styles Jr. That's that's popped in my mind a little bit. Yeah. Um, he, he did commit this weekend, so he did. I mean, that there's a possibility. I think he was brought in to compete. I really do. I do too. I have um, him currently, though, as my backup. I've got – As um, do I. I have as, as the second string, Lorenzo Styles Jr. and Jordan Hancock. Um, but you can't – you can't. Jair Brown had a good spring. Yeah. So it's interesting to me after all of the uh, – let's just call it like it is, the, um, the hate that that position was getting from Buckeye Nation – um, and what we just said about the defensive backs in the NFL, how that we used to be CBU and now we, 
they called themselves the BIA best in America. Yeah. And for four years now, we've just been crap. in that position. Call what it is. We've been crap. I feel like it's, it's a position that all of a sudden it's looking like it's pretty deep, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah, I agree. And they looked great in the spring. They absolutely agree. Now, the one time they didn't look good was when they were guarding Marvin Harrison Jr. Nobody in the country looks good guarding Marvin Harrison Jr. Exactly. And why is that, Eric? Because he's the best in um, in the country. Number one. Yes, best in number America. one in the country. Absolutely. Hands down. Polish up the Heisman and just give it to him now. Whoa, my goodness. Yeah, so we just got a question. Let's answer this real quick before we move on to the to the uh, safeties. Larry Daniels says, any news on the portal? Yeah, we've got some news. Well, we just mentioned this weekend that Lorenzo Styles Jr., uh, who was a wide receiver at Notre Dame, he is the son, of course, to legendary Lorenzo Styles uh, Sr. Brother and, to Sonny. And he's the older brother of Sonny Styles, who's the, one of the safeties at Ohio State. He is uh, committed and signed. And then we also, Chris, uh, just got a commitment from the big offensive lineman from San, San Diego. Diego State. And let me look up his name real fast. Josh, uh, Josh Simons? Josh Simons. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I don't know a lot about him yet, Larry. I'm, I'm digging into it. I'm going to spend some time to figure out a little bit more about this guy. Um, to, you know, but right now he's at least tackle depth that we needed. Uh, we've just lost Ben Christman to the portal mm -hmm. and we had no, and he was our, I think he was our first tackle off the bench, um, at least left tackle and he's gone. And so now we've got someone coming in. Uh, we'll see what happens with the depth on that. Um, but we needed that bad. And I, I wouldn't be against us going out and getting another one if we can find it. Problem yeah. is, is it's slim pickings right now. So, uh, Hey, Jason Monk's in the house. He says the big thing with the DBs not being so good over the last few seasons has a lot to do with the defensive front not getting to the quarterback. I agree. It goes yeah, hand in hand. He's not wrong. It goes hand in hand. Yeah. I mean, when 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 you've got Chase Young and you've got the Bosa uh, boys, the Bosa yeah. brothers getting to a quarterback in two seconds or less, that makes that makes your cornerback play really good. It means all you got to do is cover for two seconds. That's it. Um, so, and we saw that this spring. You mm -hmm. and I were counting it. How fast yeah. was our defensive ends getting to the quarterback? And it was two seconds or less every snap. One of them was getting home. That doesn't mean that like Jack, you know, Jack Sawyer was doing it every single time. Maybe it was him once. Maybe it was one of the JT, defensive tackles yeah. next. Maybe it was JT on the third down. But they were getting to the quarterback and causing him to leave the pocket and and scramble in two seconds or less almost every single snap. Now, we came away from that being really down on the offensive line. But on the flip side of that is if the defensive line is that good, that makes everybody on the defense that much better, including the cornerback. It means the offensive line isn't as bad as we think. True. And which is kind of what I'm hoping. Yeah. That's what, how, that's what I get my fingers crossed about. All right. So let's move to safety now, Chris. As we took a little detour there to answer a couple questions. And I think this is the most interesting position really here. Yes. Which one do you want? Because you have free safety, you have strong safety, and you have the slot safety yeah. corner slash uh, whatever they're calling that, cowboy or something like that. Uh, which one do you want to do first? Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's start with the strong safety. Go for it. Uh, I think the strong safety probably gets Lathan Ransom in the starter. Um, and probably has Sonny Styles backing him up at number two. But I'll tell you what, I, you can convince me. You can convince me that Sonny Styles has earned his playing time. Let me convince because, you on how this how this goes down. Yep. Here's how Sonny Styles is going to get on the field, other than ro being rotated in. Do you remember last year in the Notre Dame game on the very first drive what happened to Josh Proctor? Yep. He got he got beat and he was gone. Yanked him. 
right That's the last we saw of him pretty much for the year. Do you remember what happened to Lathan Ransom in the national championship game? When he fell down? Slip and fall. Yeah. Yep. If Lathan Ransom doesn't cover his crap quickly in this game, in, in, the, in the opening games, yeah, whoosh, he could get yanked fast because the guy behind him is coming on strong. Yes. So I agree with you right now at strong safety. That's who I got. But I can be convinced that very quickly uh, that could all change in just a matter of a play or two. So, you know, we want to definitely keep an eye on that. Um, how about free safety? Uh, you know, we, we talked about him just a few minutes ago, Josh Proctor. Uh, I think being a senior, he's going to get the opportunity to start. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Kai Stokes is right there nipping at his heels as well. Yeah, I I agree with you completely. But here's the thing, like I, I like having that that oh gosh, what is he, twenty four years old now or something? Yeah. 23, 24? That's that's I, a lot of maturity. Yes, I agree with that. And I like having that um in my defensive backfield. I do. Uh I it's think a leader. That, you know? Yeah, I think he learned. I do. Um, we saw a different guy this spring there. And let's not forget, it was only a couple years ago in the uh, Big Ten Championship game when he absolutely rocked the Wisconsin quarterback. What was his name? Oh, my gosh. It's name slipped in my mind. Uh, it, was that, the, uh, it was the Graham, last. Graham or? Was, Graham, Graham was it Mertz? Was it Mertz? It was the last Or was it play. the one before that that played uh, the one before up in Notre Dame? Yeah. And it was the last play of the game and he's scrambling on the sideline and he just put him into the next yeah. universe, man. And Brutus was like, he covered his eyes. That's, I mean, that guy's still in there, man. He's yeah. still in there. Um, yeah, I'm with you. We got one more position. Steve is actually, he's, he's almost, uh, he, I see him. So we're going to bring him on in just a minute. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish out this last position on the defensive depth chart here, too deep. Um, the corner slot, I've got Cameron Martinez and then Jihad Carter as his backup. I still haven't heard on how that injury is going for Jihad, but they played Cameron a lot this spring at that position. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, I I'm with you. Um, may I think he probably – I think the competition was originally closer than this. But I think Jihad, having suffered the injury, gave Cam the snaps. Um, I think he was leading the competition already going in. But at the same time, you know, the, the, the defensive backs are just, I think, like you said, it's going to be so good, so competitive. You may be one mistake from your last play as a starter. And that goes across the board. I love the depth, man. It's it, we're, we're building up yeah. that depth. And as everybody says, Jim Knowles likes to talk about it. It's a safety driven defense. And so you yes. got, if, if that's the engine that drives your defense, then let's make that engine as strong and as fast as we can. And so that means you're going to need extra parts, man. So yep. I'm all for it. And uh, our listener, J Jason Monk remind us it's cone. Was it Jack cone? Jack cone. Jack cone. Yeah. He reminded us of the, of the, of the quarterback from Wisconsin there. 